Welcome back to Passionate About Tech. Imagine installing a clean Windows 11 setup without needing a USB drive sounds impossible, right? Think again. In this video, I'll reveal a clever, step-by-step -step method to install Windows 11 directly from your hard drive. No external media required. This method works whether your PC meets Windows 11 requirements or not, and I'll share tips to avoid a Microsoft account, keep your start menu clean, and even troubleshoot common pitfalls. Let's get started with the process. Step 1. Preparing your drive space. First, we need to create space for the Windows installation files. This might sound tricky, but it's easier than you think with Windows built-in tools. Start by opening the Start menu, right-clicking, and selecting Disk Management. Take a moment to explore the window. You'll see my Disk 0, a 300GB drive. The C colon partition holds 294.41 gigabytes of data, the system reserve partition is 50 megabytes, and the recovery partition is 546 megabytes with a bit of unallocated space. If your drive looks different maybe with multiple partitions or drives don't worry, I'll explain how to adapt. To make room, we'll shrink the C colon partition. Right-click it and choose Shrink Volume. A dialog box will appear. Here, Windows calculates how much you can shrink based on free space. Enter 10,000 megabytes, that's 10 gigabytes, plenty for the installation files, and click Shrink. This process might take a minute as Windows adjusts the partition. You'll see new unallocated space appear, which we'll use next. If shrinking fails, it might be due to file locks close any open programs and try again. Step 2. Creating a new partition. Now. Let's turn that unallocated space into a usable partition. Right-click the unallocated space, select New Simple Volume, hitting Next for the defaults. This wizard is straightforward, but let's pause on the format screen. Change the volume label from New Volume to Windows Installer Media to make it easy to find later. Click Next, then Finish to complete. This step ensures the partition is formatted correctly for the installation files. If you see an error, double-check that the unallocated space is selected mistakes here are common for beginners. Step 3. Downloading and mounting the ISO. Next, we need the Windows 11 installation files. Open your browser and visit the official Windows 11 download page at Microsoft.com. I'm navigating to the download page now. Scroll to the Disk Image section Select the Windows 11 Multi-Edition ISO, click Confirm, pick your language, English for me, and click Confirm again. Finally, click the 64-bit button to download the Windows ISO file. This file is about 4 to 5 gigabytes, so it might take 10 to 20 minutes depending on your internet speed. Once downloaded, find the ISO in your Downloads folder, right-click it, and select Mount. This creates a virtual drive with the installation files. Open it to verify you see folders like Sources and Boot. If not, the download might have failed re-download if needed. This step is crucial, so take your time to ensure it's correct. Step 4. Copying files to the partition. Now, copy those files to your new partition. Select all files in the mounted ISO, right-click, and choose Copy. Then, navigate to this PC. Open the Windows Installer Media Partition, right-click, and select Paste. This might take 5 to 10 minutes due to the file size. Once copying finishes, right-click the virtual drive and select Eject to unmount. I'm unmounting the ISO now. Your drive is now ready for installation. Step 5. Restarting into recovery mode. Time to reboot into recovery mode to start the install. Hold the left shift key, click the start menu, and select restart. Keep holding shift until the PC restarts. This takes you to a recovery menu. Select troubleshoot, then advanced options, and finally command prompt. If your account has a password, enter it. Otherwise, press enter. This step can feel intimidating but it's the gateway to our no USB install. Step six, identifying the drive letter. In command prompt, we need the correct drive letter for Windows Installer Media. 
type Notepad and press Enter. Click File, then Open, and navigate to this PC to list all drives. I'm checking drive letters now. My partition is D colon, yours may differ. Type D colon and press Enter to switch to it. Type dear to confirm the files, including setup.exe, are present. If it's wrong, try other letters until you find the match this trial and error is normal. Step 7. Launching the installation. With the right drive, type setup.exe and press Enter to start the wizard. The setup begins, but let's customize it. Set time and currency to English World, adjust keyboard settings if needed, then click Next again. Check the box to agree to delete files and click Next. Skip the product key by selecting I don't have a product key. Choose Windows 11 Pro and click Next. The setup checks your PC lets handle any issues next. Step 8. Bypassing hardware requirements. If your PC doesn't meet Windows 11 requirements, you'll see a warning. Close the wizard. In command prompt, type setup.exe space forward slash product space server and press enter. This trick uses a server flag to skip checks. Restart the wizard, skip the key again, select your edition and proceed. Accept the license terms. You'll reach the disk selection screen. Don't delete Windows Installer Media. Delete other partitions like C colon and recovery to free space. I'm deleting partitions now. Select unallocated space, click Next, then Install. This takes 20 minutes to an hour grab a snack. Step 9. Bypassing Microsoft Account. After this installation finish, Let's bypass the Microsoft account prompt during setup. Confirm your region, select your country, and click Yes. When the out-of-box experience begins and shows Let's connect you to a network, use a keyboard shortcut. Hold Shift and press F10 on a desktop, or Shift, Fn, and F10 on a laptop. This opens command prompt. Click inside to activate, then type Start, Space, ms dash cxh colon local only and press enter. A window appears. Enter a username like user, skip the password and click next. Setup continues to the desktop without a Microsoft account. Step 10. Finalizing and tips. My disk management shows the Windows Installer Media partition remains unmergeable with C colon due to the recovery partition. Keep it as a recovery tool. For future installs, a USB offers more control. Backup files before partitioning and test the install on a virtual machine first if unsure. That's it. You've installed Windows 11 without a USB. If this helped, smash that subscribe button and join our tech crew. Thanks for watching this deep dive and see you next time.